Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the support and coming to see about me today. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And it'll greatly be appreciated too. <laughs> and if you resonate with my video, drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. That'll also be greatly appreciated too. And thank you so much for taking the time out and coming to see about my channel today. And for my returning subs, what's up fam how are you doing much love to you namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you also and thank you so much for the love and support today today my video is about twin flame 101 hayoka's harmonizing relationships harmonizing relationships yes we are we need to we need to we need to we need to it's a must Today, I am listening to my meditation music, if, you're, if you hear it, because I know it's way over there on the other side of the room, so I don't know if you, know, if you can kind of hear it, but it's uh, a meditation for concentration by uh, Nerial Beats uh, for, you know, for concentration and memory, so I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below, but yes. Um, harmonizing relationships because it's just like you know there's so many of us that are empaths and hail can empaths and go star star seeds uh, rainbow children it's just a lot of us that we're connecting and we're starting to evolve into one so we really need to go ahead and harmonize our relationships it's just like so many of us I'm just so blessed and grateful that it's like you I, I can see my manifestations you know, I pray every time I make my videos. So I pray, you know, for people to come, more people to come towards me. And it's just not for the views. And it's not for, you know, um, for the for the money or anything like that. But it's just for the fact of people opening up and knowing about themselves. Because there's too many of us walking around here and then we got these confusing questions going through our heads 24 hours a day. You know, why do we gravitate towards people why do we stay away from certain people? Why do we always you know, attract narcissistic people? Why do we feel like we always go out for the underdog? And we're, you know, we're trying to do that. So it's just like more of us are starting to awaken. And it's just like seeing, you know, it, it's just like a, a blessing just to see so many outpours of messages. And I say that and it humbles me a lot. And, it, and it's just, you know, it's me helping you helping me basically so it's just like me healing from all these different things and my 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 trauma <laughs> so many people and that is a blessing that when you can be able to feel that way about the problems that I have because it it when you have things like that and you're more grateful for the problems that you have because it wouldn't have brought you to where you are today because it's just like you know don't focus on the negative things just look at you know, you there's sometimes when we we don't want to be lonely and we like to have the friends that we have and we like to have the families that we have. But going through this awakening, we will see people dropping off left and right. And with you within your awakening, people will start being worried about you. <laughs> people will start being worried about you thinking something wrong with you, like you really done lost your last mind. Or people will start looking at you and the things that you might be saying or experiencing might be scary for them and it's they haven't awakened themselves so it's just like you know when we're around people and they're not on the same level as us and so we have to like stay away because they're not vibing with us so it's just like the ones that we vibe with we really need to start trying to connect with them more trying to, try to harmonize with them more that's why it's just like I, I feel so many people coming towards the you know coming towards that knowledge like it's just like ding 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 you know now I know what I am and they're experiencing all these things and don't know what label to call this 
you know, what is this? Why, you know, is, does this even have a name? You know, <laughs> you know, and I, I just, when you learn more and more about yourself, it's a, a beautiful thing. You know, it really is a beautiful thing when you find out more about yourself. And going through all these things, and it, it's just like the more people that I feel like I vibe with, I'm really starting to harmonize with them. And it's just like a lot of people. It's just like I start getting these looks now. I'm like, what it is? What is it about you? You know, and I'm just like, ah, you know, because, you know, you never know when people are like, you don't know if they're going to be on that same level as you when you pop out telling them something like this and they might look at you like you're crazy. So it's just like some people I just let myself be a mystery because they really want to figure out what it is. But if it's not in your time to know yet, it's not meant for you to understand. And it's just, you might be going through that too because it's just like, you know, I'm getting so many uh comments lately about people that have lost their father saying it's me or you know they have lost their friends their companions you know uh, from their awakening from the things that they're going through and it's just that on our journey it's like the people that we start with all the people that we started with are not going to in this journey with us it's just like they're here for a reason in the season and a lot of us wonder why you know all these people are wiped out of our lives or you know why did they walk away and leave me they 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 were there for that that part you know you were supposed to learn off of them and they were supposed to learn off of you with you being a hayoka you know it, it's for you to mirror the truth to them even if you're learning off of them and they're learning off of you, you might see some things that you probably have in common with that you might see. And it usually, with us, will mirror something that they needed to fix on their own anyway. So a lot of them might get kind of irritated with you. <laughs> I get that a lot. Because <laughs> if you're not on that level with me, you will either be aggravated. Some people either get aggravated or they, they will have a streak of jealousy sometimes it'll pop out and you hear that a lot when you read up on your hail good empath stuff you, you will hear that it's just like you're when you're on this you know this union or you know uh, relationship journey with yourself basically it's a relationship with yourself um it's just like a twin like a twin flame relationship you're falling in love with yourself you're getting giving you that chance to get to know yourself or things that you weren't truly it's just like you're a, what they call it a 717 it's a the number i'm a numbers girl so it's like i always looked up numbers and try to figure out what my life that resonate with these certain numbers and it's like we're all a 717 we're hidden in plain sight we're here on a mission to help the world and we're i mean we just got a lot i mean with everything that's going on in the news and the world today with these bombings and you know these people gunning down people and you know these cops killing people and children coming up missing children are getting wiped out left and right from these mysterious crazy diseases and stuff like that and it, it's just like we need to wake up we really need to wake up we have a lot to do so it's like in our best bet to go ahead and harmonize our relationship because it's like we can't do this on our own. We can't. We're going to need each and every one of us <laughs> to go get through this mission. And it's like right now it just feels like harmonizing. You have to harmonize with yourself first before you can harmonize with anybody else. And, you know, on that, on this journey, it's just going to, you know, anything that you know you have that's no longer serving you, it's just going to have to go. And I have to tell myself there, there's, a, you know, a few things that I know I need to let go of for me to continue on my journey. And, you know, I'm going through that now. So it just seems like there's a lot that I have to take care of. And there's a lot of things that other people need to take care of also that are going through things. So, let me take a pause for that cause. Well, never mind. I'll just go ahead and just finish this off. But, yeah, my music is stopped and I had to go back and play it. But, you know, it's just basically we need to harmonize with ourselves before we start harmonizing with others. And we need to actually harmonize with others so we can be able to put this planet back on track. Because, boy, it just feels like we're in hell and high water right now. 
But I'm not going to be rambling on. I was just wondering if anybody else might be feeling that way. And if you are, please drop a line and let me know. Hit, hit your girl up. And I love to get the positive feedback. Go ahead, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll keep you on my prayers. And I hope you definitely keep me in yours. Much love to you. Send out as much love, light, and positive frequencies as you possibly can. And much love to you. Peace and be wild.